Before the frost settles and winter takes hold, many birds leave the chilly north. Some, however, stay, braving the cold and enduring nature's harshest season. Migrating birds may escape the winter, but that doesn't mean they get off easy. The journey ahead can be faced with terrible storm systems. If they can overcome that, it can take hundreds and even thousands of miles to get to their destination. But what a reward for the many who make it. Warmer climates with plenty of food and shelter. For the species that remain in the wintry north, they will have to endure months of cold and snowy conditions. Luckily, they have many adaptations to help them along. One big help being their feathers. These marvels of engineering are for more than just looking good. They help to protect their bodies from the elements. In fact, before the chilly season hits, many birds grow extra feathers to help insulate them for winter. On those days when it's especially frigid, our feathered wonders can fluff up their plumage to trap warm pockets of air close to their skin, further insulating themselves. Looking twice the size they actually are, this is their way of putting on a winter coat to keep cozy despite the chill. Some birds are so well suited for winter that even their feet and bills are heavily feathered. For those without feathered feet, all isn't lost. Specialized scales help to minimize heat loss. Another helpful thing is the close proximity of arteries and veins in their legs and feet, which allow blood to be warmed and cooled quickly. The newly cooled blood lowers heat loss from their feet. It also helps that bird feet don't have much muscle or nerve tissue that can freeze. If all of that doesn't help, feathers can lend a hand once again. When perched, birds will lower their body, allowing their plumage to drape over their feet and legs. On very cold days, many little birds are seen crouching. They can also tuck their legs up into their body one at a time. This requires quite the balancing act. Fighting against the cold is energy demanding, though. And food is scarce during the winter. Not to mention, there aren't many daylight hours for foraging. To help keep their little furnaces going, birds have clever ways of dealing with this. For one, weeks before winter, when there is still an abundance of food... Our feathered friends gorge themselves to put on an extra layer of fat. While food isn't that plentiful in the middle of winter, birds still find seeds hidden under the snow or fruit on bare trees. Birds like sparrows and finches keep their fat stores going by eating the seeds of native plants and trees. Feeding on the remaining berries and other fruit helps to provide a good dose of energy, too. A few birds rely on their incredible food caching ability to get them through winter. Chickadees, jays, and nuthatches will hoard hundreds, even thousands of food items into the trees over fall. 
Amazingly, they can actually remember most of these caches weeks and even months later. Although winter may seem completely void of insects, that isn't the case. Kinglets, chickadees, and woodpeckers have a keen ability for finding hibernating critters hidden in foliage and behind bark. There are some birds, like the ruffed grouse, who will load up their crop on alder buds before day's end. When filled up, they take cover where they slowly digest the food overnight and even days later. At nightfall, temperatures drop much more in winter. During these hours, our feathered friends seek refuge in the trees. By using tree hollows, thick foliage, and sometimes even human-made birdhouses, they can escape the cold winds and snow. Often before a cold snap, woodpeckers dig a deep cavity in a tree that is facing away from the prevailing winds. Chickadees also seek shelter inside cavities and will shiver throughout the night to stay warm. During these times, their body will also go into a regulated state of nocturnal hypothermia, lowering their core body temperature between 10 and 15 degrees. By doing this, they reduce heat loss, therefore preserving their precious energy. Other birds, like the tiny golden crown kinglet, will huddle together under the thick of evergreens while sharing body heat to save on energy. Staying hydrated is just as vital as staying warm and well-fed. That can be a problem, though, since many bodies of water are frozen over. However, birds will often find the smallest sources of liquid, from thawed puddles to tiny openings along streams. Another option is eating snow. Not the best one, but birds do what they have to out in the wild. From survival instincts to ingenious adaptations, birds have clever ways of overcoming all that old man winter throws at them. And with a little help from bird watchers, many birds can get through even better. Providing food and water in your backyard can make all the difference for these winter warriors. For ways to help birds over this chilly season, click the video on screen. The right way on how to help birds during winter. Thanks for watching. Happy birding!